Gravitation with the observation. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying I'm wrong. We disagree. We can move on, but we can always stand strong, man. Like, like I said, bro. You feel me? Anybody that's been tuning in, that's been watching, you know, thanks for the, you know, for the uh, subscribers. I appreciate y'all. You feel me? One hundred. Um, and I like to feed the comment too. Like I said, we don't always have to agree. You know what I'm saying? I like to, I feel like y'all, you know, teach me too. Or y'all lace me up on some stuff that I don't know. I don't have no problem with that. Like letting it be known. Like, okay, my bad. I didn't know that. The information that I probably received or that I learned in the past or whatever the case may be. That's what I thought it was. So, it's not. Um, with that being said though, right? <laughs> the boy Charleston Wright. Not right, excuse me, white. Or let's call him Charleston Blue. Don't try to change it now. You Charleston Blue. See, this is the thing with Charleston. And my homie used to get mad at me as far as, like, defending Charleston. And I really wasn't so much defending him. I was just saying, like, nah, bro, he keep it, he keep it right. He keep it true. You got to respect that. You feel me? Like, certain stuff that he was hearing, it was like, it was shock value because you never heard... Nobody said, like, we already thinking this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. We're already thinking this, but how the way he's presenting it is like, ooh. You get what I'm saying? And he can, you feel me? He's an intelligent dude. Let's just keep it all the way real, like he always say. You feel me? He's an intelligent cat. He know how to charm his way through certain situations. He know how to do it. So this is why I, it, it, it ticks me off or it, it throws me all the way off with his message. So we all know in the, in the past, if you don't know who Charleston White is, I'm pretty sure you, if you haven't heard of him, I don't know where to, obviously you ain't on the internet. <clears throat> but, um, for the longest he's been going against, you know, your gangsters, your street hustlers, your whatever, you feel me, prostitution, whatever. Damn, my neck. He's been, you know, going at it with them for the longest, right? And by by all means, each his own. Do, do your thug thizzle, right? Stand stand on what you stand on, and, and I feel that. But what he's not realizing, and I've been said this, right? I've been said this. What he's not realizing is that the character that he said, that now he does that on the internet, like he, I just said this in the beginning, shock value. Like I say certain stuff because when I was on my positive stuff, you feel me, y'all wasn't rocking with it. Y'all wasn't messing with it. But as soon as I get on, on this negativity or I start just speaking my mind, you feel me? It just start, That's when I start going viral. Like, oh, okay, this is what y'all want? Okay, I'm going to give it to y'all. This is what y'all want? Okay, I'm going to give it to y'all. I don't... At first, in the beginning, I was agreeing. Like, hey, if something is not... What Cat Williams say on that one, Pimp, Chron Pimp Chronicles? Or no, Pimp... Uh, 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 damn, what was it called? Pimpin', pimpin', pimpin'. The other one after when he was in D.C. When he's, he keep trying, trying, not working. Trying, trying, not working. You get what I'm saying? So if something is not working, I understand, like, okay, let me try this way. But to me, him having that positive image out there about helping the kids, you feel me, in the communities, giving back, uh, trying to change certain laws, trying to pass certain laws and all that. All that stuff gets washed down the drain how you're acting on the internet. I don't care because you way too old to be act. If he was younger, I could give him a pass. I'm going to keep it a buck. If he was a little bit younger, I'll be like, okay, I'll give him a pass. Just like, you feel me, not to jump off subject, but just like with Tupac. People don't realize, bro, yeah, Tupac was all over the place. Jimmy, that's for one, but bro, he was only 24, 25 years old. He had way so much more living to do. I can highly doubt that that man would still be the same way. You feel me? Or, you know, if he was a, you know, if he lived to still be here right now. Both of them. You feel me? Biggie and Pop. If he was on that, uh, like P Diddy, Jay Z, all because I think they around like the same. Or I think Jay might be a little bit older than Pop. But you get what I'm saying? Like you feel me? If he was older, like bro, he was still, you know, transition from being the. You know, being a man, he's coming into, like, you feel me? Yeah, you a man, don't get me wrong, but you're still a kid. To me, I think before 25, you still make them dumb decisions. You feel me? I think it's like, damn, like, after 25 and more up, that's when it's just like, okay, now it's, all right, come on, bro. It ain't really no excuse now. You know what I'm saying? And the only reason why I say that, because insurance, 
You feel me? Like when you go to, especially in Hollywood, there's certain clubs out here, you feel me, that it ain't 21 and over, it's 25 and older. So that's why I'm basing that on that. I don't mean to get off subject, but anyways, though, if Charleston White, if he was younger and he was doing this, I can kind of give him a pass. Like, oh, okay. Kind of. But the stuff that he says, bro, you still, like, bro, is distasteful and it's very disrespectful. I don't care. Stop comparing yourself to these kids. Let's go ahead and get into this, right? So, Enchanting. Um, I came across her music not too long ago. And dope, talented artist. Um, she was uh, signed to Gucci Man label, 1017. She recently passed uh, due to um, OD. Allegedly, that's what I'm, I'm just going off the blogs or what they say. I don't know if that's true, but I guess she passed uh, allegedly, you know, OD and on uh, prescription meds. And Charleston White gets on the internet and do an interview with Say Cheese TV and says, F her. Well, excuse me. Let me go back. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm kind of skipping. Charleston White went online and said something. I'm not sure what he said, you know, verbatim, but I guess he kind of to paraphrase it. I'm thinking about what he was saying. I basically was just saying like, bro, she was a drug addict. You feel me? She really wasn't making no music like that. She was getting ran through by people in the industry um you feel me just sleeping around wasn't you know doing no music just just going off just like come on bro are you serious even if those things were true who are you to make those statements Let, let's keep bro who are you who are you to make those statements and i know everybody like well bro you giving him energy and you giving it's content so i'm gonna speak on it but at the same time bro that's not cool. It's not cool. Who are you? Like, bro, she, from my knowledge, I don't know if this woman ever disrespects you. Now, I don't know if they got something beyond the scene, but I highly doubt it. Because you do that with any and everybody. You feel me? But you go on there and make it some crazy allegations, which I ain't never heard. And this young lady just passed. Her family is still mourning right now, bro. And I'm pretty sure they on the internet and all that stuff. Like, well, like I, for my knowledge, I've never known her to be in tune with nobody. Once again, it's my knowledge. I wasn't like really in too deep in her career like that. You feel me? But I was made aware of her in like 2021. So I wasn't like really in too deep, but I don't, you know, I'm not sure. But you went on there and said that. And then you said your reasons for that was because Tuka. That's what it was. That's 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 what you was basically was saying. Say cheese asked you a question and said, "Bro, how are you how are you disrespecting?" Well, no, I don't I don't know if he asked. I don't know if say cheese asked him uh, as far as disrespect. I think he just asked him just with the overall his just statement is in general. You feel me? Why his opinion was what it was, but he blamed, He said with Tuka. That's what. Like, did nobody care about Tuka mom? You feel me? People on the internet trolling, F Tuka, F Tuka, running around, F Tuka, F Tuka. So why should I care about Enchanting and her, uh, her mom's feelings? Didn't nobody care about Tuka mom's feelings? So why should I care about her her parents' feelings? F her parents. Da -da 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 -da. This is why I say, man, the, the messenger, sometimes, bro, you like on some Sam Bow mentality. Not Uncle Tom, because Uncle Tom was righteous. You're on some Sambo mentality. Because it doesn't make no sense. And I, I keep it all the way Milwaukee. If you was comparing that situation, right, to King Von, I'm talking about Tuka and King Von. If you was comparing those two, I understand what you're talking about, Charleston. Do I agree? Would I get on camera and say that? No, I won't. But I understand where you're coming from. This young lady died from an OD. <laughs> Tuka passed away. If y'all not, I'm pretty sure y'all, if you don't know who Tuka is, but, you know, Tuka, you know, lost his life at a bus stop. You know, rest his soul, you feel me, in Chicago. Uh, young man lost his life at a bus stop, you know, ended up getting killed. That was on street business. That was street politics. 
she lost her. This is, I don't want to say, well, yeah, self-inflicted. The two don't, don't correlate. Why, what is, what does enchanting have to do with Tuka? Like I say, once again, I don't agree. I, I wouldn't agree going on there saying that, but if you made that analogy, comparing those two, like people like, oh, no, nah, don't say that about Von Wu. I totally understand. Totally understand. But you comparing, you, you comparing that situation with this, nah, bro, now, that's why I say, bro, your message, you didn't got so caught up in your character that now your message is starting to get over, like, you feel me? Well, now, isn't it, I'm starting to look at you side eye, like, bro, that, that didn't even make sense. Are you not prepared for these questions? Like, because that didn't even, you should have had a better uh, comparison than that, bro. That don't make sense at all. At all. That don't make sense at all. And now I'm starting to look at it too. You say people would do anything for the money. Well, you including yourself too. Because like you said, okay, the positive stuff. This is what I don't get when you say, oh, that's this way it wasn't working. And I understand that. But if it has to interfere with your mission that you was already doing in the first place, why even do it? I don't care if you're getting bread. Because even if you're still working with the kids in the community, I think it's still BS because these kids, right? They're very impressionable. So when they see you acting a fool on the internet, guess what they gonna do? Act a fool on the internet. Come on, come on, Charleston. Come on, bro. You not you you not that far. You that too deep? You that deep in your character, bro? You're that deep in your character? You done went Tony Montana. You done, you done went full Nino Brown on this. You you done forgot who you was, huh? You're not even realizing what you're doing, bro. I don't care what pie, I don't care if you was giving backpack giveaways, every time they go back to school, shoes, that doesn't amount to nothing because, bro, how you displayed on this internet is totally the opposite. And you're not in no movies. And you're not doing skits. Those two different things, bro. Kids are impressionable. I'm yelling at the phone, I don't even know why, but man, that, man. I don't know, man, but gravitation with the observation. I'm not saying I'm right, I'm not saying I'm wrong. You know, rest well and chancing, you feel me? And to her parents out there, I just had to lost myself and my family. It's not cool, bro. It's not cool. Like, it's, man, I don't even want to sit up here and say Charles is going to get his one day because that's not even how I get down. I'm going to keep it all the way Milwaukee. I don't even get down like that. But, bro, I'm not saying I'm right, I'm not saying I'm wrong. Gravitation with the observation. I hope you hit that sub. Gravity.